Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Watcheries. In this video, I will be reviewing in depth the Huawei Band 4 Pro, which I have been using for about two weeks. This smart band cost me about $52 to acquire from AliExpress, and this is the Chinese version. I am going to be going in depth to what the smart band can do for you. And of course, to help you decide if this is worth purchasing. Subsequently, in other videos, I'm going to compare this with the Samsung Galaxy Fit here. Okay, and this cost me a hundred dollars. So I'm going to compare this and the Huawei Band 4 Pro subsequently. But before that, please, if you are new to this channel, click on that subscribe button and of course on the notification bell to get updates from me. We never upload videos like this all right guys let's head on straight to the video the first thing i want to talk about is the ui health app you need this app to set up the band 4 pro okay so once you have set this up you can click on devices here and this is the band 4 pro from here you can manage most of the functions of the band 4 pro Okay, here you're going to see my stars for today, the steps, the calories, the, the distance, the watch face, the health monitor, troubleshooting, help, alarm, weather reports, notifications, device settings, restore factors, um, settings, and firmware updates. Now let's talk about the design. This smart band is very lightweight, okay, and this does not irritate my skin. I think this is TPU material. I've talked about the case, this looks like an aluminium, it looks quite polished. The display looks awesome, I am outdoor right now and as you can see this looks quite um, vivid and very colorful. To navigate this smart band, you have um, two options, the touch key here and the display, okay? Now once you touch the touch key here, it takes you back to the home screen. And then when you swipe down or swipe up, you go through the widgets. You have seven, you have, um, sorry, you have nine widgets that you can add to the Band 4 Pro. And you can do that from here. This is the device settings. From here, you can go to function customization. As you can see here, there are already seven added here, and then you can use this to add the remaining two. I don't need Alipay and Cars, that's why I removed those two. So that is for the widgets. I have daily tracking, heart rate, SPO2, sleep monitoring, workout, music center, and music control. So from these features here, when you swipe, you have the steps. Okay, this counts my steps whenever I'm working and this tracks my heart rate. I think this um, is pretty much um, accurate when I compared it with the Galaxy Fit. They were about the same um, measurements I had on both devices. And there is the SPO2, and then um, the sleep monitoring, and then we have the workout, and then we have, um, from here, you can see the timer, stopwatch, clock faces, and the find my phone feature, brightness, and then you can choose how you want the screen. The screen timeout function is here, okay? And then to go back, you just simply swipe right, okay? So when you swipe right, you go back to the available options. We have the battery, and then we have system from here. You can reset, restart, and then of course power off, and then other um, functions. So I'm just going to go back, go back. So those are how you can navigate the Huawei Band 4 Pro. Let's talk about the fitness tracking features of this smart band. This smart band tracks your steps, your heart rate, your sleep, and there is the SpO2 sensor that tracks your blood oxygen. Blood oxygen determines how much your blood is able to absorb um, oxygen. Okay, so when I swipe up, you get my steps for today. This is 9% of my goal. I haven't walked around today. And then there is the heart rate. 
okay i can use this to track the hardware but i need to put this on to check that like i said before when i compare this with the galaxy feed they were about um, the same figure i got on both devices and then you have the spo2 which tracks your blood oxygen and then you have the the sleep tracking feature and then you have a workout this band has um 11 workout modes okay when you click on this we have the outdoor run indoor run outdoor work um, indoor work and then we have um the outdoor circle and then indoor circle cross trainer um, rowing machine indoor swimming outdoor swimming free training so that is 11 workout modes so once you click on a workout mode it starts automatically by counting down to 10 and this smart band has an inbuilt gps which automatically tracks your your routes and locations so that is for the workout feature of the band 4 pro now once you have finished tracking your workout outdoor or indoor whichever one for the sleep this is the hawaii health app so we just go back go back again and then we go back again okay from here you can check out your workouts okay this will show my workout routes and all that it shows the pace then we have um, the chart and details so this shows you a summary of all your workout as per as per the sleep tracking feature as you can see here's a sleep tracking feature now I have a problem with the band 4 pro as far as sleep tracking is concerned I haven't um, have a consistent um, sleep tracking record especially when, com when compared to the Galaxy Fit here. Yeah? The Galaxy Fit seem to, to track my sleep more accurately than the Band 4 Pro. I mean, when I wake up in the night, for instance, maybe to pee or other things, the, the Galaxy Fit is able to um, track those periods, you know, unlike the Band 4 Pro here yeah, that seems to just track all through. So I think I have a problem with that. But beyond that, the Band 4 Pro tracks your sleep in four stages. It has a night sleep mode, the deep sleep, the light sleep, and the REM sleep. And the, the stats are pretty much very detailed. So that's for the sleep. And you can actually check out your heart rate, the trends, and all that from here. And then the SPO2 we talked about is down here. So that is for the fitness tracking feature of the um, Band 4 Pro. Talking about notifications, this device allows you to receive notifications. Um, it's even alert on the Band 4 Pro. It vibrates whenever you receive notifications on your phone. So, say for instance, you get a notification. To access your notifications, you simply go to Messages. Okay, here is the Messages app. Okay. From here you can see all the messages that i have right here okay you can choose to read by clicking on any of them so i'm just going to click on one of these okay so you click on that message and then you can read the message once you're done with that you can go back and you can choose to clear all messages so that is for notifications and you can set up what app you want to receive notifications from you simply go to device here click on the band 4 pro and then um, we go to notifications okay and then it shows all the apps i am receiving notifications from so you can choose to choose you can choose to switch on any of these apps on or off so from here you can choose which app you want to receive notifications from and um, talking more about the device from the device setting there is a do not disturb mode and you can set this up you can set this up okay you can um, schedule how this is going to work the start time 
and then um, the end time and all that okay there is the music playback um, feature which you can assess from the band 4 pro here you need to start music on your phone and then you can control it from the band 4 pro so say for instance i want to start the music here you can just go to my music app and then i'm um, click on this and Okay. I can pause this. I can pause this from the band for Pro. So that's the music control um, feature. So we can talk about the um, other features here. You have the Bluetooth disconnection reminder, and then um, the race to wake, and then the rotation of the screen. I've turned this off already, and this is for the widgets. Okay. So that's just about the. The Band 4 Pro and the functions. Now, talk about the watch faces. The Band 4 Pro allows you to store up to 13 watch faces on the device. Okay, meanwhile, from here, you can add as many, you can assess many other um, watch faces which you can install on the Band 4 Pro. So, say for instance, I want to um, change a, a watch face. All you have to do is to tap on the screen and hold on to it, okay? And then you can swipe through the available watch faces here. I have 13 watch faces stored on the device. That's the maximum, okay? If you want to delete a watch face, all you have to do is to go to mine. From mine, you get to see the watch faces that you have installed here. So if for instance, I'm going to click on this. Okay, you can choose to set this as default or delete it from here okay this way you can remove a watch face and from the recommended option you can add watch faces the manager here shows you um, the installation informations okay yeah about three watch faces i tried installing initially but i've already reached maximum and to install this i need to remove watch faces from the band 4 pro so this device one of the good things i like about this device is that you get a lot of options as far as watch faces are concerned okay so let's talk about the battery life of the band 4 pro the band 4 pro has um what i would say a decent um long battery life okay um Actually, I charge this to, to full and I use it to work out about one hour every day for four good days and the battery was exhausted. Yes, when you work out outdoors with inbuilt um, GPS on this smart band, it, it gets to drain more of the battery life. Okay, so on average, I got four days long battery life with Band 4 Pro with one hour of outdoor workout tracking. Okay, um, I think that is pretty um, very nice. So what do I like about the Band 4 Pro? Okay, um, what I like about this Band 4 Pro is that it is very lightweight. Okay, you may just forget that you're putting this on on your wrist. And the display looks awesome. I like the fact that it has um, SPO2 and um, I also like the fact that it has an inbuilt GPS and of course I like the fact that the battery life at least can take me beyond um, one, two, three days, even up to four days. So that's quite awesome. Is this worth the money? I think yes. So it all depends on you. Alright guys, thank you for taking your time to watch this video. Until next time, goodbye.